In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for HBr plus NaOH. This is hydrobromic acid and this is sodium hydroxide. When I look at the reaction, I see that there's a water over here and then I have an ionic compound, also called a salt. So if I have a salt and water in my products, I'm thinking this might be a neutralization reaction. If I look at the reactants, HBr, that's an acid. I know that's an acid because it has an H in front of it. That usually means we have an acid. And then NaOH, we have a metal bonded to an OH. This is a hydroxide. So we have a metal in our hydroxide. That's going to be a base. Acid plus base gives us salt and water. That's the pattern for a neutralization reaction. If we look at this table here, you can see a list of common acids and bases. I recommend you memorize this. That'll make chemistry a lot easier once you have these down. Let's take a look at a table of common chemical reactions. So these are the common types of chemical reactions. And we can see our neutralization reaction right here. But this is also considered a double replacement reaction. That's because the Na and the H, they switch places. They replace each other. So we have H with the OH. HOH is H2O, and the Na goes with the Br, that gives us NaBr. So it's a double replacement reaction as well. So one reaction can be categorized as more than one thing, especially in the case when we have neutralization. That's the type of reaction for HBr plus NaOH, hydrobromic acid plus sodium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.